Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. In today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing the new Tiny Marvels Sydney Grace and Mel Thompson palette. You guys, this has already broken the internet, so you guys, I'm pretty sure know all about it already, but I was super, super excited for my friend Mel who created this palette with Sydney Grace, and this is something that I could not wait to get my hands on. I was super, super lucky to be on the PR list for this palette. I'm in Canada though, so it took a little bit longer to get to me, but I'm super, super thankful for that. I feel like I'm just so honored to already be a part of this and get to swatch it and review it for you guys and let you guys know how I created this look today, which is a ton of color for me. I normally really shy away from that kind of thing, but I'll tell you all about this palette, what I think of it, and whether or not I think this little guy is worth the money or not. All right guys, so this is the brand new Tiny Marvels palette from Sydney Grace and Mel Thompson. This is a actual brand I have never reviewed before, which has been pretty exciting for me. Sydney Grace, I believe, is an indie brand and they have some amazing quality shadows. A lot of my friends have been saying this for such a long time. If you haven't seen Mel's reveal video, I'm gonna link it in the description box for you because it's super cool. If you don't know who Mel is, she has a ton of beautiful tattoos on her body and essentially, these are some of the colors that are within her tattoos, which is so cool. And this is the inside. So I'm going to try to show you. Here we have the inside of this. Like, isn't this so, so beautiful? I really, really love how she put this palette together. This is actually something that also I was looking for personally, which was kind of hilarious because there's kind of like a little bit of a pastel trend going on right now. It has been kind of since early spring. There's been some other brands that have released pastels, but I found that the quality of them have, hasn't been great. And so this is something that I was like, wow, I can finally have some pastels in my collection that are actually good quality. <laughs> so that is awesome. They are also paired with some gorgeous neutrals in here, some beautiful shimmers. We have some duochromes in here also. So this to me, I think, is a really versatile palette for people that want to kind of dip into some color, especially the trendy pastels right now, and also be anchored with the neutrals and the pinks that they're kind of used to. So all the finishes in this palette are super beautiful. There are 15 shadows in here. They're each two grams. So we do have 30 grams total product in this palette. So this palette is 52 American dollars. It is currently back ordered on the Sydney Grace site. It literally broke the internet. It was sold out within the first day of launch, I believe. So I was so, so happy and proud of her. Mel is a professional makeup artist, so she does know what she's talking about when it comes to shades, putting palettes together, things like that. She just has a visual eye for this. And it's definitely a beautiful palette, as you can see from the color story alone. According to one of the representatives from Sydney Grace, they did comment on an Instagram comment recently talking about when the pre-ordered palettes were going to be back in stock and they're hoping for the middle of September. So if you guys want to pre-order it, you can kind of expect that to be the proximate timeline of when they would start shipping out. A note to my Canadian followers, this is actually going to potentially have some added duties and taxes because it's shipping from the US. So just keep that in mind when you're factoring in the price of 52 American dollars, you may have to add on some money on top of that for shipping costs and duties and taxes. So how I got this look today was really exciting. And like you guys know, I rarely, rarely wear color this bold, but I figured I'd be inspired to give it a go. And I think it turned out okay. So I'll let you know how I did this. <laughs> The first step I used is I used a rougher number one brush and I dipped into Flutterby and I just applied it in the crease area doing back and forth like windshield wiper motions just to get a really nice blended look. This is a really beautiful coral kind of pink color that I wanted to anchor this rainbow look with. So I just started off with the crease area. This is how it looks on the hand, you guys. That is one swipe. It is absolutely insanely pigmented. I will say the blendability is also really, really good. For a matte, it's a little bit stiff than some of the shimmers and the duochromes in this palette that I think have a little bit more of a blend to them, but the mattes still blend beautifully. Next, I went in with a Luxie 229 brush and I actually picked up the purple, which is Jewel Bee, a super beautiful purple matte. And this I actually applied to the outer crease area of the eye. This is Jewel Bee with one swipe and I actually am really, really impressed. I'm gonna do one more kind of swipe here of the pigment so you can kind of see how bright it is. But this is something that I'm really impressed with with the palette because 
because normally other palettes I've reviewed in the past that start getting into pastels, this is where the quality starts to diminish in my opinion and they start getting dry and chalky and that kind of thing, harder to blend. This is fantastic. I actually think the quality of this is the same as Flutterby, which is like a pinky coral. So I do like how the quality doesn't shift between pastel colors versus non-pastels. Next, I wanted to use the green. Now this is actually a Wayne Goss number 16, which looking back, I think I probably should have picked up a slightly smaller brush for this one, but this is the shade Mantis. It is also a pastel in this palette. And this is one that even though the brush was a little bit bigger, I still was able to place it where I wanted to. And it just has pigment right away. There's a slight bit of kick up if you're putting your brush in a little bit too hard in the pans because they're super, super light and gorgeous. So they are gonna pick up a little bit. So just go really, really light because they're so, so pigmented. You don't need to swirl your brush in too, too much. This is Mantis here. You can see it's almost like a highlighter green, even a little bit more pastel than that. And it's so, so pretty. Once again, beautiful blendability, beautiful pigmentation. The quality is not differing from the mattes at all. Now, in order to start transitioning the rainbow from the green to the purple, I wanted to get into that duochrome purpley blue color. So I did pick up Scarab, I think is how you say it. <laughs> Hopefully that's right. I picked it up with a more denser brush. This is a Sigma E60, and I just placed it in the inner part of the lid here. So just in the center to kind of give a spotlight and to start blending the colors together. Together. This is the first shade I saw a little bit of fallout on the face, but nothing too crazy. It was just a little bit of some Q-tip cleanup that I was able to do. It wasn't like a mess like some of the other palettes I have in the past, like Anastasia is quite a mess on the face. This was just a little bit light. So I will say to kind of watch out for that. Super, super soft in the pan. I'm gonna show you, this is a beautiful duochrome blue purple shift. You can see that there. I have seen the shade actually in some other palettes, but I do think that this is a beautiful shade to include in this one. So definitely like the quality of the duochrome and the shimmer are just fantastic. Next, I went in with a rougher number two eye brush and I actually picked up Fire Butts, which is the yellow gold color. Now that just kind of made me laugh like Fire Butts. I think it's such a cute shade name for this color. Super, super gorgeous. Once again, very soft in pan, extremely pigmented. This almost looks foiled on the eye. So once again, you see this gorgeous here. There's a little bit of like a, a silver shift to it too, but it's like a silver, a little bit of like a champagne. This is such a stunning color. Lastly, I wanted to just add a little bit of a spotlight to the very inner corner of the look. So I used the Shadow Web, which is actually more of a satin shimmer. And this is a beautiful, beautiful white kind of spotlight color. You can definitely use it for like a highlight for your brow bone, or you can use it for the inner corner of the eye. But I found this one was super, super stunning to just bring the look all together. And it is once again, another beautifully pigmented shade. I just love the fact that the quality does not waver from shade to shade here. Like, so, so pretty. This actually makes me wanna check out more Sydney Gray stuff because I'm so, so impressed. This is the first time I've even tried anything from that brand and I can't wait to try more. One thing I really like about this palette is the mirror on the top half here. You can see there's one that basically fills almost the entire frame. So that is something that is perfect for travel. I do like how this is a cardboard too, but it's not a cheap cardboard. It has a glossy finish to the outside and it is somewhat heavy in the hand. The glossy finish of the cardboard packaging really brings up the level in my opinion when it comes to outer packaging style. So that is something I really love. And the fact that it's incredibly colorful is just something that makes me really wanna pick this up and use color. As you guys can tell, I am super biased because Mel is one of my closest friends, but I just love the fact that this quality delivers on top of the fact that she's my friend. Like obviously we want our friends to succeed, especially content creators like Mel who are just like a shining light in this community. I haven't ever heard her say anything bad about anyone. Like she's just so, so sweet and someone I look up to very, very much. So I was super, super happy for her. And I don't know if this was a mistake or what. She hasn't answered my text yet, <laughs> so I don't know. But Sydney Grace actually sent me a second palette. So what that means is I get to give one of them to you guys. This is just like a very simple giveaway. You do have to be subscribed to me and you do have to leave a comment. That's all I'm asking. And this is open internationally also. So I will be drawing the name of this one in just a week's time. It's not gonna be a super long giveaway or anything. I did actually open this up just to make sure. I was actually wearing gloves when I did open it up but I did wanna make sure that this palette wasn't broken and it isn't. So this is a perfect palette, just like 
the one that I have and I'm super excited to give this away to one of you guys. So just leave any comment, it doesn't have to be anything crazy, just any comment about the palette or whatever you want in the comment section and make sure you're subscribed to me. That's also a qualifier to get entered. Lastly, we have the swatches, of course. So this is actually a spot where I'm gonna put the swatches in sunlight. I'm also gonna show you how it looks in studio light so you can see the difference. There's a little bit of a difference at times between studio and sunlight. Well done to Mel for putting this palette together. I'm so excited to continue to dive into this one. If you guys were able to get it, do let me know your thoughts on what you think of it. Do you love it? And what looks have you created already? Because I do feel very inspired by you guys and I do wanna keep playing with this one and really challenge my artistry, basically. <laughs> Until my next one, guys, take care. Good luck with the giveaway and thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys. But sorry, there's a light inside of us. It shows.